Hey, welcome back for after reading chapter 7. Did you see, did you notice, did you hear that um, Prince John is working with the ruler of France to keep King Richard in captivity with the Duke of Austria? They don't really know where, and they don't really know where he is, but... Now, Prince John is King Richard's brother, and so um, he's keeping him cap. He's he's paying to keep his brother in captivity. Nice brother, huh? But then he's also going to have to do something with his older brother if he's going to be king. So there's all those things. I thought that was very interesting. Um. And so, did you catch that um, the bowman with the the bow that's six feet in length? He was fussing at the Jew, but then he, you know, when Cedric knocked the tip of the lance of Debrasi off, that he applauded. Well, that angered Prince John, and he was like, well, what well, else, you know, it was kind of like calling him out, and he said, yeah, I can hit it, I'm a woodsman, at a woodsman's distance, I can hit that mark, and then he's like, well, what about this, he's like, maybe, so, keep that in mind, it comes up again later in another chapter somewhere, and let's see, oh, I wanted to bring out, oh, so why does Prince John hate the Saxons? Because they are rightfully there. And it's their wealth. And so um, it's been handed down. The, the land has been handed down to them. And they're... But they conquered the Britons back in, what, 1921 or something? Anyway, so the Saxons legitimately belong there. King J Prince John does not, and they won't side with him, so that's why he doesn't like them. All this good little fighting stuff. And then, um, all the imagery. Sir Walter Scott has got some imagery going on, doesn't he? Oh my word. I, I don't know when I have read an author that had such wonderful imagery in their story. What do you think? Do you get that too? I mean, I've seen your book list, so you might be... I, I want to know some more about these things that you're reading besides Ivanhoe because, oh my goodness, I'd love to know how they compare. If they have as good imagery as Sir Walter Scott or not and all those good things. I'd love to know. And then, one thing I wanted to bring out to you, and it talks about Heinz on high places. They're talking about the Jew the hinds going up to the high places which was higher in the now here of course in this story they're talking um sir Walter scott i'm so excited i can hardly get my words out he's talking about moving the jew up higher in the um the bleachers to see to oversee the the combat area you know because they're all jockeying for a, a good seat and the higher you were the higher up you were, the higher class you were. Now, since um, since Rebecca, and of course she's a new character, I forgot to bring that out in the pre-video, but Rebecca is new, and Asseltine, 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 he is a new character. Now, that description of Athelstein, that's who Cedric has picked out for Rowena's wife. I mean, Rowena's husband. A drunkard and somebody who can't make decisions. He's well liked. He has friends. But he's a drunkard. He is dim witted and doesn't. I mean, it's hard for Nana to make decisions, so I, I won't fault him on that because I'm indecisive. But. He's, he's dim-witted, and he's a drunkard, and that's who he wants Rowena to marry? What is wrong with Cedric? Just wondering. Okay, so there's that. And then, 
Oh, I wanted to talk about the word romantic. Romantic doesn't always mean like male, female, romantic, romance. Um, romantic in poetry and literature can mean the natural. So when he's talking about the romantic field, um, oftentimes a romantic is also considered someone who loves the outdoors and the greenery and the forest and the field. That's also romantic. So in the you know the the forests and the waters and the seas and the creeks and the ponds and all that good stuff. Can you hear this no annoying bird behind me? Oh my stars! You might be liking it. Y'all like birds. I don't know. But anyway, can you hear the bird? I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, and then hinds feet in high places. So we were talking about that, and I got off track on something else. So, um, yeah, Athelstein. That's how I got off, off track. So the Prince John, on account of Rebecca, was going, um, Isaac the Jew's daughter, was going to move them up higher because she's so beautiful, and so she deserves, since she's beautiful, that gave her merit to sit up above a lot of other folks. But the Saxons, since she's Jewish and Isaac is Jewish, no, they're dogs. Well, in their eyes. Um, and that went with the times. And so, um, Cedric is going to intervene and Wamba, of course, steps in and all that. But hind feet and high places is mentioned in the Psalm, in the Bible. And there is a book, I forget the author, I have it, I love the book, I recommend, I highly recommend reading it. It's called Hind Feet in High Places. And what it is, is it talks about the hinds, a hinds is a deer, okay? And God gave the hinds these little feet to be able to get up on all these rocky crevices. And so they can go up in high, high places. But, um... It also could mean a sinner. So a sinner in high places. And so so someone who doesn't deserve to be in high places. And guess who meets? And, the, and it's a girl. It's a female in the story. High, high, high feet in high places. Um, it's... There wasn't a whole lot of literature written for women back in the day. And this lady wrote it, and it was published, and it's beautiful, and it, and it's, it does speak to women, and it is about women, but you would enjoy it as well. It's so well written, and it's, it gives you so much to think about. But anyway, she, um, she's a sinner, of course, we all are, and guess who meets her in that high place? And in this, in this instance, the high place is the rocky, hard, um, place you don't want to be and it's Jesus of course and he the shepherd gives her directions on how to get someplace else but so I just thought that that was really neat that Sir Walter Scott I'm going to look up and see how old the book I'm going to check copyright dates because I'm, I'm interested in that and I might throw that in later in another video when I get that information so Yay! Um, I just wanted to tell you that. And then, I'll get back with you on your lessons. I love you. I hope you're enjoying this. I'll talk to you later.